Hey guys, and welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This video is about KiCad 4.0 and beyond, and how to put this, uh, <laughs> the delicate method required for exporting a bomb, especially when you start doing a more sophisticated, more in-depth bill of material. So this is going to be specifically for Windows, because I think this is one of the harder versions in Windows. Um, the process is mostly the same. It's just going to be a different install path. There's, there's a separate engine you have to install, which is an XML engine. And already, me saying have to install XML engine, it's like, ugh. Um, in the case where you want to do a custom, uh, a custom <laughs> version of your bomb. Now, I should say as well that there's a way you can just ex export a bomb. So let's quickly, let's quickly look at that. So first thing you can do is this is just a board that I've, uh, this is one of the go, go, go. This is part of the, uh, the session uh, boards that we're doing for contextual electronics. You can very simply just go into file, and this is in PCB new, uh, fabricate BOM file. BOM being build material. You see I already did it once. And I'm going to save over top of this, and that's fine. And let's take a look at this thing. Here's the directory, and I'm going to open this up here, and it's a uh, CSV, and we'll open it, and everything's great. The thing that isn't great is if you had any of the other fields in there. So obviously, this is a terrible. Let me just delete that. <laughs> um, uh, man, that was a big field. There we go. A little cleaner. Um, you see it has designator package, quantity, designation, supplier, and ref. None of which has anything for... Um, so we have the value, but we don't have... Uh, if you have another field in there. And this is actually one of the things that I really like about KiCad is you can add in custom items. So if we're back in the schematic now, what we can do is we can go mouse over, hit E, and we can add our own things. So we can add a link, we can add an MPN. However, when you move outside of this, you can no longer export this by default, which is kind of crappy. That's the part I don't like. Um, so if I want to ex export this, this richer information here, I have to do something else. And that's what we're going to be looking at here. So let's take a look at, uh, this is actually from the KiCad.info forum and the user Fritz Jan, who basically kind of summed up a lot of this stuff here um, <laughs> in my snarky comments. But basically there's a, uh, there's a, a download here and I will link this in the video below. But the idea is you can go and download this file and then when you do so, it's going to have everything you need to, in order to get this working. So this is what it looks like inside there. So you just download it. Basically, it requires that you install this EXE, which is, okay, well, <laughs> random stranger on the internet is telling me to install an EXE. Um, actually, I have to move this somewhere else. Yes. So <laughs> you have to move it somewhere and then add the path and all that other stuff. So let's, let's do that quickly. So first things first, we have to... Uh, extract this package that we have here. So I'm going to go up a level. That's the actual folder here. And I'm going to put this into my uh, into my PCBs folder because that's where I keep everything for KiCad basically. I'm just going to drop it in here. Okay, it's in there now. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to read the readme because that's what the uh, directions say here. So basically I'm going to add a path variable add to this this specific folder. So here's this. I'm going to go control pause, which should get me to uh, this one, and advanced system, and now I have, so basically at advanced system settings, and now we can go to environmental variables, and we see, do I have path? I do have path, so I'm going to add, uh, I'm not sure if it matters on the uppercase, lowercase. I'm just going to, uh, let's see. No, it looks like there's everybody here. So I'm going to add a new one. Add that right there. Hit OK. Hit OK. And uh, now I'm going to go back. I'm going to close out uh, KiCad real quick just to make sure that it reloads everything it needs to. We'll save and exit. That's fine. Open up KiCad again. There we go. I'm going to go into the schema, which is the schematic program. 
I'm going to go to uh, uh, Tools, Generate Bill of Materials. I'm going to add the plugin, and this should be that same folder here. So I'm just going to paste that directory there. And now this is the plugin that I actually want to do. So I want to do uh, plugin. So I'll do this one, the XSL bomb, or so we'll do grouped CSV. We'll call it that. And now I have to go and edit this. And I, I know what you're saying already. You're saying, <laughs> I'm going to go into camera for this. I know what you're saying. You're saying, what the heck? And yes, it's just one of the little blips here. You don't need to do this if you put all of your, if you put all of your information into the value and the reference designator on your schematic, you're done. You're scot-free. You can just use that. If you want to use things, excuse me, like links and MPN and, you know, other stuff there. Sorry, this is the way you got to do it. So let's keep going. <laughs> and so basically what this is, it's a scripting engine for XML, right? And what we have to do is just place, uh, so this is the name, this is where this specific script lives. And then what I have to do is um, I have to add where I want it to go, I believe, which is the output. Uh, And the last piece that Fritz puts in here, we should put in .csv, and we'll try it. Let's see. Generate. Uh, doesn't like that. Let's see if it actually showed up, though, in that project folder. So we're going to go into the project folder for this specific one. Did it show up? Uh, I'm going to remove this one to try it again because I think... Ah, it's because I already had it open. That's why it failed. I had it open in Open Office. So let me discard this, delete this, and let's try that again because basically I'd already created that one file and it's trying to overwrite it. So let's try it again. Success. Aha. And here it is. Now we should see we have footprint, data sheet, NPN, and link, even though some reason that didn't come through. Looks like my comma separation did not work very well. Yeah, it didn't. So it's how I imported this. Let me try opening this file again. I want to, yeah, delimit by comma. There we go. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And this is what it should look like. So we have reference designators now grouped by this. We have the quantity, we have the value, and then we for the one part where we actually had the MPN and the link uh, populated, that is actually showing up. You can imagine this all being populated now in uh, you know your schematic if you're going through and you're actually doing it like that. So this allows you to use your schematic as a control document as well because now as you add a new part, you can say, well, this part is, uh, I'm going to add a field, MPN, and then blah, 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 whatever it is. Right, and then if I go regenerate that now, it will work. Now, uh, back to the issue at hand. I realize that was a little messy, uh, but if you're working in KiCad and you want to have these custom fields and you want to create a bill of materials, this is definitely the best way to do it right now. It's not necessarily clean, and it's, a, it's basically what this was. This is a feature that was written for software people to be used by hardware people. So. Hopefully this was good enough. Thank you to Fritzian for posting that, uh, that KiCad zip file. I think that's really useful, and I would recommend that you, uh, that you use that directly because I think it's going to be your best bet for getting this working. Remember, this is for Windows. There are similar things that work for Linux and Mac. Basically, it's just downloading a different XSLT proc uh, thing, and you can find that also on KiCad.info. If you have any questions, you can ask down in the YouTube comments, or you can head over to KiCad.info. The forums over there are really great. Uh, I've been learning a lot, and uh, people are helping each other out. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.